Hello, everyone. I'm Susie Kwa, and I'm so happy to take this time to share Rain Soul with you. Why we have to take it every day. And I've been taking it for eight years, eight years. And as you see here, this is the happiest business on earth. You know, when people ask me, I say, I'm doing something so happy. Make people happy, and I'm, I'm happy because they're all healthy. So, of course, I love Mickey Mouse. Now, I major in accounting. I have a CPA, and I've done corporate work 28 years. Why I'm doing health business? Why? Because I needed to change. I needed to improve my health. This goes back like 40 years ago. So I graduated in 1971 from UC Berkeley. So I'm still proud. It's one of stu still one of the top universities in the world. And today I want to share with you what is this product about. Eight years ago when I saw this essential fatty acids, I said, whoa, this is a product for me. You know, essential fatty acids. But I have to tell you, 90% of the people out there don't know what that is. So here's a slide here I want to share with you. Essential nutrients for the body. That's everyone. Now this is science. I'm talking about science. We have good digestion. We must be because we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're hungry, right? So we eat every day. Now, how many people understand absorption? We can digest our food, no problem, because we get hungry. What about absorption? Very important part. If we absorb all the nutrients we eat from the food that we take every day, our cells regenerate, constant regeneration. Like you have hairs falling out, you have new hairs growing. That's normal. Now, in nutrition science, they have two nutrients that are called essential, essential amino acids. That's protein. But once protein digested in your, inside your body, it's called amino acid. And there's eight or nine types essential, means that you have to eat it. Essential means you have to take it from outside, inside, and you digest it, and then your liver will create, create the other 11 or 12 amino acids that you need. Uh, according to science, we need about 20 to 21 or 22 amino acids to repair your hairs, to regrow new hair, new skin, new bones. Everything, every cells in your body uh, will need amino acid. The only thing is that you don't need it every day because amino acid will recycle inside your body. They will recycle. See, vegetarian, you don't have, to, you can be a vegetarian. You don't need to eat meat all the time. You don't, because there are amino acid, there are proteins in the vegetables too. Ah, so, so remember that, that's essential. And we're not lacking. We have plenty of meat, chicken, fish, beans, everything, we, we have plenty. Now, the next essential nutrients called fatty acids. It's called essential fatty acids. This is what this product about, seeds. Essential fatty acids, specifically refer to omega-3 and 6. And it has to be properly balanced too, okay? We see a lot of advertisement out there selling omega-3 as fish oil. Is that the best? No. But what about the six? There are a lot of people out there, even nutritionists will say, oh, we eat too many, too plenty, too much six. Eating too much six create inflammation. True. That's very true. But then what kind of six are we eating today? What kind of omega six are we buying from the supermarket? Corn oil, peanut oil, um, you name it, sunflower seed oil canola oil, all kinds of oil that are selling in the supermarket now, they, are, they have added in preservatives. So it's just the oils already that are selling in the supermarket has been there a long time. The processing, the manufacturing process 
has changed for about 50 years already. So those omega-6, you should not eat too much. If you eat too much of those processed omega-6, it will create information inside your body. Now, here we're talking about essential fatty acid. I'm talking about the good one. From your raw nuts, raw seeds, raw. God gave them to us from the seeds. Okay, we, we extract the seed oil, sesame seed oil from the seed. They're supposed to be good. So, but you have to go back to cold press, the original form that God gave us. So, essential fatty acid today, this phrase is really confusing. So that's why consumers don't understand. One time they say, oh, eating butters are no good. Cause cholesterol, heart attack, no butter. Go margarine, okay? Now, after 30, 40 years later, margins are no good. They are trans fat. They'll kill you. We consumers, we are confused. But it is called essential. Means you are, you are supposed to eat omega-3 and 6 from eating fish, shellfish, beef, chicken. You know, they're fat, okay? And then also, mainly the 3 and 6 will be a lot of vegetable seed oils, okay? But eating whole seed. So this is the area I can tell you we are lacking. Everyone's lacking today because we're eating regular coke oil, rancid oil. Now, minerals, we need, we know, we got plenty. You eat a good, healthy salad, uh, some vegetables. If you try to eat a good meal every day, uh, there should be plenty of minerals. So looking at this, I think, me personally, eight years ago when I saw this product, I said, this is for me. I'm not, I wasn't talking about other people. I said, I needed it. Now, so this is the basic nutrition for every person, every person. Now, science is getting better and better. They discover, and it's all over internet, lacking of essential fatty acid. Lacking, that means deficiency. If you're deficient in omega-6, skin disease like eczema, hair loss, change of behavior, dry glands, male infertility, abnormal heartbeat, dry eyes. How many dry eyes we have nowadays? Oh, I see people using eye drops. Literally, you are deficient in oils, okay? Um, frequent infections, you name it. I'm telling you, arthritis, dry skin, cholesterol. These are called so-called chronic illnesses, but if you add them all up, it could be a big illness coming in the future. Now, it is all stemmed from deficient in omega-6 oil. That is very hard to find out. You have to go to the health food store, buy this cold press, a lot of avocado. You have to pay attention what kind of oil you're eating, okay? Then, of course, lacking Omega-3, hinder development, okay? Behavior, uh, vision problem. You know, today people using smartphones a lot, there are big vision problem coming up. Muscle movement, uh, hypertension, blood thickening, inflammation, dry skin, these are all related uh, omega-3 deficiency. And nowadays we see mental health, mental illnesses. Children, overactive, autistic kids, uh, Alzheimer disease, you name it. I heard the statistic is around 10% of the people suffering mental health disorders. So these are all related to deficiency of omega-6 and 3. I'm very blessed. I think at 2015, there was a Professor Pelskin. Um, I attended his uh, meeting. I bought his book, and uh, he said he called it, he, he, he named this book called Parent Essential Oil. It's similar to essential fatty acid. He said the word of essential fatty acid has been, uh, has been abused. A lot of advertisements talk about essential fatty acid, but he said, come on, parent, the source, where are you getting your essential oil from? 
or lipid or fat. It better be from the source. Like eating fish oil, why don't you eat fish? That's what he's talking about. Huh? So, and he said, look at, you want to conquer cancer, diabetes, heart disease, you better look at parent essential oils. So I was so happy, I bought his book, I had him sign it, and I even asked him. I said, Professor, you said we're not supposed to take fish oil capsule. He said, of course not. You should eat fish. Your body digests the fish with the oil in the, in the muscle, the meat. You take oil capsule, fish oil capsule. He asked me, you know where the fish live? The fish live in deep sea ocean. What's the temperature? Very cold. Where do we live? Well, we live under the sun, on the earth. Our body temperature is warm. That's what he said. Well, one is cold, cold-blooded, one is warm-blooded. You're gonna, you take fish oil capsule, you're gonna have to burn a lot of your own energy to digest the fish oil. He said, just eat fish. So it was a very good book. And I copied this from his book. It supports appetite, heart health, beauty, inflammation, brain health, hormones, diabetes, all related to oil, fats. Good one though. And the amazing thing in his book, he explained, he said, do you know essential fatty acid works like an oxygen, oxygen magnet? It actually, when you need, you need this good essential fatty acid going inside your body. And it will be like a magnet draw the oxygen that we breathe into our body, the blood, and we trap the oxygen into the every tissue, every organ, and in your blood. So make a simple essential fatty acid attracts oxygen. Without oxygen, we will not survive, and our cells will degenerate. So, and in this book, he said, Americans suffer widespread function functional parent omega-6 deficiency. And he also, the, the, you know, science is so advanced now. They, they have so many studies in Harvard and many universities. Okay, I copied from the book, okay? And they can tell you uh, in your brain nervous system, percentage ratio-wise, you need 100 units omega-6 versus one unit omega-3. And the organs, uh, the skin is 1,000 times ratio, 1,000 versus 1,3. One, and um, come on, but there's really, there's hardly any omega-3 in the skin tissues. But all the consumers seen reading all the advertisement, they just promote fish oil, omega-3. You understand? We don't need that much omega-3. If you eat fish once a week, it's plenty already. So that goes to the advertisements. Huh? So it was quite a learning time for me. And also, he said, there have been so many studies in the university, the lining of the arteries and capillary of the blood vessels are omega-6. If they dried up inside your artery, your blood vessel, that's called cracking. Dry, too dry. There's not enough good omega-6 lubricating your lining. It'll crack. It'll crack. It'll cause bleeding. And now I read something later that why Alzheimer's disease? It is all the breaking of the vessels, cracking, the small capillary in the brain that just create those plaques. And then 10 years, 20, 30 years later, that's how the person lost the memory. All these vessels breaking away. So all I can tell you is that I, I, I was very interested in seeds. Everything comes from seeds. And in the book of Genesis, God says seeds. So one seed can grow, grow a whole tree and seeds bear fruits. So the science tell us, if you eat seeds, the nutrition, the nutrients in the seeds are 20 times more than fruits and vegetable. So I learned about oil and seeds years ago. 
So that's like eight years ago when I saw this product, I just told myself I needed it. So I call it Love at First Sight. It's a good product for me. And uh, Rain International is the name of the company. It's all in the sea. This company eight years ago is the first company to produce cold press, cold press seed nutrition in a convenient pack where BC consumers can just take it and um, open it and drink it. I remember all these years, there must be 25 years already, I go to the organic shop and I would buy this little oil uh, from the food store and have to put it in the refrigerator. Every time I open it and take a tablespoon, I have to put it back in the refrigerator. When I'm on the road, I, can, I, don't, have, I don't have these good oils to take. So now I just, I love this product. Now what happened to your blood after taking rain soul? This is the interesting part, right? Oxygen. I said oxygen. So here it is. This is a, a doctor from Hungary. I've been doing talks with him. And he normally would do a live blood test with volunteers in the meeting. And you see this type of sticky blood? The sticky blood. That means no oxygen. And obviously this person probably don't do exercise, which we all should do exercise, okay? So we love to eat, we don't like to exercise. Guess what? We all always love to eat the bad food too, you know what I'm saying? The yummy food. So too sweet, too much bad oil, I mean sticky blood. You know, there are people taking medicines every day, to, 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 you know, trying to keep the blood circulating. Well, the doctor always give the volunteer two pack of ring soul. He said, go take it. 25 minutes later, come back up and do another blood test. And here I, here I, I was in Europe that year, and I took the picture. Whoa, I was taking this product for some time already, but it was first time seeing that live blood test. I mean, just improve. You can see this blood cell, red blood cell full of oxygen. They still kind of stick together, but if you wait another 15 minutes or you do some exercise, ah, it will look even better. This is how the blood should be. This is how we're going to get energy to go do our work all day long. So this is it. So it's been eight years that I've been taking this product. I know I needed it. I'm deficient on it, and everyone else in the world too. And then after eight years I've been working, I summarized everything that I saw. Good oils in, bad oil out now. When I say oil, I mean lipid, okay, fat. It's just don't go out and drink. Don't go out and buy those oil that you think is good. Huh? No, 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 not, they're not the same. But I have to summarize it. Good oil in. I mean this good cold press oil, seed oil. Bad oil come out. Oil cleanse oil. And it's true. You, 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 you ask yourself when you take a shower at night, your hair is kind of greasy. Okay? And you, 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 you try to wash your, after a hot day, you, you feel your body, your skin greasy too. And water cannot wash it down. So you have to use a little shampoo or soap. You know, the good soaps are made from fat, but nowadays all by petroleum oil. So it works. It cleans you out. You don't use them, you don't feel clean. So, but what I've seen for eight years, this, this rain soap really, really cleans. I used to clean my kitchen filter too. Good oil, anti-inflammation. Bad oil, cause inflammation. Good oils, good hormones. Bad oils, bad hormones. I'm going to have several talks about why I summarize it this way. So I'm going to close it. I hope you get a little understanding what this process is about. I call it internal shampoo. And um, this is it. We know how to clean ourselves outside. Water cannot do it alone. What about these food that we eat every day? Drink water, not going to clean it. So I call this internal shampoo. I can very easy, convenient, take it, I mean, and then it wash it out. And that's how I gave the name internal shampoo. Okay, thank you for watching.
I will teach you more on my next session.